This is Die Sporting Network. What work? Second half here underway in this one, a uh, three-point swing before the half made it a five-point lead for Emerson. So start the second half here from the Xfinity Center. The side is Foster. Got it in there, the lead back to seven. Chase Foster. Seven-point game here for Emerson, trying to repeat the champions. Fakes the three, went inside with it and gets it in. Hughes with a big two. Lead down to five. Anthony Hughes. Second half. Ball stays with Atmosson. Atmosson wins. We have the post game. And press conference remarks. Fakes it. Dantzler stepped out. Stepped out. Ball back here to the Vikings. Nice defense here by Emerson. Open three though. No. Rebound back to Brown. Foster. Great training, lays it in. Lead back to seven for the Redstone, back the other way. Here comes Moody, no good. Boss is fouled there. First team foul on uh, Cambridge here to start the second half here in the third quarter. Cambridge foul on zero, Sterling Perkins. That's his second team first. 6.45 left here. And a third. Danzler, step back. Foster from Brown. Foster spins and foul. That's his third. Cambridge. Cambridge foul number two, Cody Hills. And on his third. He leading all scores with nine. Foster with Atmosen leading them with eight. Sherrard right behind him with two threes. He got six. Foster spins it in. Lead it in. Biggest lead of the game at nine. Atmosen 46% from the field. 50% from three. 60% from the free throw line. Dantzler, off the back, no good, rebound back, kicks it out, basket and in, Rashawn Moody, Moody is a quick one, I tell you that, Boss, Dantzler with a spin move, kicks it back out to the outside, nailed it, good time, look at there, three pointer, Robert Price, Nice with that one, another set up by Dantzler. Stay back. No good. Rebound back the other way, and off the top, and a turnover. Atmosen able to keep it. Foster, shooting two. And we will let you know the results when we come back. Thirty-nine, thirty-one. Your score: three fifty-two left here in the third quarter. Back inside, and one count. Moody strikes again in the middle. So late to six, and Moody trying to cut it to side Brown. That's his third. Third. He's gonna stay in unless he gets four. 
For team race number five, Ms. Sean Moody at the line, shooting one. Speaking of that, rolls away and it stays with the Vikings. <coughs> Vikings keep it. And then bound it back in. Jumper. No good. Press the rebound rolls in. Anthony Hughes. A big one there. Here's Clay. in the corner. Fake set. Open three in the corner. Yes, sir. Three-pointer, Darren with a huge bucket there. He cuts the lead to four. What a fourth quarter we should have here. The Infinity Center. All these games have been close. Competitive here throughout, girls and boys. Dantzler with the floater gets it in. Forty-nine, semi forty-seven, forty-one. Basket, count it. The one. Forty strikes one more time. A little drive to the hoop, and it's forty times. Zooms through the middle and gets the end one to go. It's his second team for the Vikings number five, Deshaun Moody at the line shooting one. The and one. Got it. Lead to three again. Trying to get a game action once again. Bringing it up here. All pass to Foster. Foster spins out of it. Offensive foul! Offensive foul! Edmonton foul number 10, Chase Foster. That's his first team foul. One oh five left here in the quarter. 
got a wet spot. Back to One minute left here in the third. Look in here. Anus back inside. Block and foul. Emerson over the foul limit. We're back to let you know what happens. Foster grabs the rebound and leaves cut the two. Dantzler. Foster for three. In and out. Ball back to Cambridge. They're trying to tie the game. Here is the Vikings. Shot clock and game clock at about a two second difference for you two. Twelve, ten, shot clock at eight. For the lead! No. No ball, but session over should go which way? Stays with Cambridge. Check out the possession of the Cambridge. Back floor, ties it! As the quarter ends! Out of 47, thanks to Hughes and the three! And who will be the game three for the Cambridge? Would it be Anderson? Would it be the Vikings of Cambridge trying to get their first? Since 1996. Fourth quarter here on the way. Emerson with the basketball tied game. Side. Offensive oh, rebound in there for Foster. Foster with 14, leading Emerson in scoring. And the Red Storm, 49%. That's excuse me now, 50% from the field once again. 50% from three, 56 from the free throw line. And that's for the lead. No good. Back the other way here. Over to Foster. Dangsler was looking to drive, brings it back to the outside. Tapped. Ball stays with the wrist. credit. Over to hang in this ball game. Moody with his second now in the game. Dantzler! In and out. Foul against Foster. That's his second. Edmonton foul number 10, Chase Foster. That's his second, 
Martinez inside, pull up for two, nailed it! Three, the time of 49, once again. That's a three. No good off the bat. We're now back to Foster offensively. Dazzler kicks it. Davis again. Yes, sir. Another huge bucket for Davis. And episode up by three. With 6.18 remaining in regulation. Back in the game action now on this one. 6.18 remaining. Emerson up three. 2.49 your score. Reynolds back, long pass. Moody had it. Ball oh, turned it over. Dantzler with the steal. A little dribble drive. Nice kick out. Three ball for Sherrod. Tip the miss. Offensive rebound back there to Cole. Dantzler. Back out to the outside is Brown. Draw was looking there. Cole being patient, shot clock at 13. Shot clock at seven. Swings it. Brown to the inside, forced it up. Cole had it. Trying to win it with a shot, partially blocked. Here comes the Vikings of Cambridge. That's a three in the corner. No good. Nice rebound there by Cole. Foster leads all scores with 16. And Dansler with eight. Load up! Oh, that's a foul! Bender with it here, 445 remaining. Here in the fourth. Look in here. 445 remaining in this regulation time. Cambridge will let it roll to midcourt. Well, partly was, maybe not. I don't think the ball cooperated with a Moody. Back. Floater. One point game now. Super match Pinder. Pinder makes it a one point game. Sherrod. Inside. Ansel has it. Kicks it to Foster. Back to Dantzler. Three ball. No. Foster able to save it. Gets it back to Brown. Brown to the basket. He's shooting a pair. But we return. Back here the game action now. 54-51. The score here. Jumper. No good. Rebound back to Brown. Three forty left. Gerard. Dazzler to the basket. No good. Trying to get it back, and here comes Moody. Boom to the top. Come on, Foster. And Brown with it back. Lost it, and the ball will stay with Emerson. <laughs> three twenty remaining. We are in. Sharon for three. No. Foster offensive rebound. 
snatched back, back over, looking here, inside, oh, first of all, and that's on Hughes, that's a second, a second. Davis back in the game, he's hit some big shots for Emerson in this contest. He's the second leading scorer, has 11. Anus and Hughes, the leading scorer, is hit. That is a fourth foul here. And I expect him to stay in the game because of Foster being in. Timeout by Coach Tucker and Cambridge, Georgia, South Dorchester has two timeouts for that. We're right back. 255 remaining here in the game here. Brown for three. Nailed it. Big time bucket by the senior. Lead back to six. Basket no, Foster drives the rebound. Dashler with it. Cuts. Sarah for three. Boom! 60-51! Here for Atmosen. Three ball back. Nailed it! Back in the game with a big three. Time out again. No doubt. Lead within six with 2.13 remaining. Back here to game action now. 143 remaining. Cambridge down by six. Here come Hughes again. Inside and yes. No good. Gets it back. And a foul. The foul will stay with two of these three folks. Edmonton foul number one on Darnell Dantzler. That's his third team fourth. Kobe Hamill's at the line shooting two. Flip it. That's Darnell fourth, the team's third. Shot no good. Check it out. the red for number two, Xavier Davis. Lead to five now for Emerson. Brown doubled. Ball stays with the wrist one. Ball stays with the wrist one. Very nice crowd here. Seeing Bowl filling up pretty well. Looking back here. The back door. Layup in there for Brown. Brown with an impressive tail and a lead to seven. Pender back. Hughes back to Pender. Hughes. Foul against Davis. How many fouls is that on Davis? That might be five. That's Edmondson's fourth team foul. Both teams at four. No, it's not. Both teams at 14 fouls. The next one will put the other in the double bonus. Five, three ball! Nailed it! Pender with a huge miss! 
And a lead down to four. Back over. 45 seconds left. Dantzler gets it over. Sherrod, open man. This Cole. Swings it. Brown with it. And had to follow him. Had to follow him. We'll bring you the free throws when we come back. here for Cambridge. Four point game here. What a game we've seen. Second shot. Nailed it. One, two. Cambridge is one time out left. Here comes Hughes. Hughes swings it. Anders can shoot it. Gets it up to Hughes for two. Short. Ball stays with Cambridge. Shot clock at 20, the game clock at 23.1. 23.1 seconds left. Offensive foul! Off the ball! And if it's on Pender, that's it! If that's on Pender, that's it for him. And it is. Hughes there for Cambridge. And they get the great base base are back in the game. One of the three leading scores for Cambridge is fouled out. Looking. Tap! And it is! And Foster gets it with 19.9 seconds left. Everson looking to repeat as one of the champions here. This is to be on a two possession game as a wrap. The curtain will be dropping here on Cambridge. Well, I tell you this, the top team from the Eastern Shore, Bayside champions, and boys represented the area well, and they've shown a lot of grit in this game. We're standing there, and they lead the six. Edmondson, the Baltimore City champion, have not lost to a public school in over a season. Nails both, and the curtain might have dropped here on the Vikings. They're going to need a prayer. Three ball, got it. Razor says, "I'm on, oh, not yet." Timeout. And with 10.6 left, the leader for 10.6 seconds left. And got to follow me, Lee. Coming to shoot two this away, a 9.1 remain. That was huge third. Dang setting the line with two big ones. That's his third team on the way. Cambridge is running out of timeouts here and as we're trying to hit one more to make it a six-point game. 69, 63, it could be. Got it, got it. There we go. Need a three and we'll pull it up. Short. Hughes with a parting gift. He'll get it in. Emerson repeats this one eight time here. Cambridge Southdoors Church and Suckers on their second loss. 
Presentation to Emerson to come. Total team win. Um, ooh. It, this this means a lot. You know, we, we, we struggled early. Um, at halftime, made a couple of adjustments. I had to get on my, get on my big young fella for for um, just just effort, just to improve his effort at, um, at halftime. Um, DJ, all of them, they just played well down the stretch. The thing about it, we've been through. So many, so many different, so much adversity throughout the year, and I'm just happy to, for them just to come together, play hard, and you know just to come out with the win. It, it just speaks volumes for, for for the kids. It's never been about me 
or my coaching staff. It's always about the kids, um, the student athletes. They play well, and now they back to back state champs. Chase, talk a little bit about just asserting yourself in the uh, second half to get going. Oh uh, yeah, just the first half. I came out real slow. Like uh, Coach Darnell said, he got on me in the halftime, and you know I picked it up in the second half. And after that, uh, I think me coming out and playing with effort that helped us win a lot. A year ago, you were just kind of getting your feet wet. This year, you're fully immersed. Talk about that. Um, like I said, just get trying to get adapted to the game. Like um, I feel like as a freshman, I was just trying to learn things. But this year, I feel like I played a bigger role. And um, like I said, we we won. Darnell, uh, talk about obviously you look great on the shot, but you really get your teammates involved all game. You had six assists. Talk about the mentality on the offense. Man. Uh, definitely. I put a lot of trust into my teammates, and I want them to be able to trust me. So in order to have a uh, strong trust, you got to put your trust in first. So I sacrifice my points sometimes just to get my teammates involved. Josiah, talk about the big three you hit the fourth, uh, about midway through that kind of gave you guys a little separation and, and got you on your way. Um, they was worried about point guard DJ, and they left me wide open. So big time plays me, big time plays. <laughs> <laughs> talk, spoken, Josiah, spoken like a true senior. Josiah talked about a year ago, man. He's in this seat here. Coach was saying, hey, he had to stay on you. And the difference between that last year and this year and the way you played throughout the year, which was very excellent. Um, last year, I was fortunate to win last year. And all season long, our goal was to go out on top. It was my last year. And I'm fortunate to win again. And one of, one of the good things about Josiah, he was down here three years in a row. We lost to Lee Clifton the first year. Then we came back the second year. Josiah hit the free throws to win the game for us. And then um, this is the third year. So we went, Josiah has been fortunate to come out here three years in a row. DJ and Chase has been out here two years. So I'm just proud of the program, proud of everything that the kids done. Um, all three of them are exceeding in the classroom. Um, DJ has a 4.0, Josiah has a 4.0, Chase has a 3.3, 3.5. So they're doing, they're taking care of everything. They went undefeated in Baltimore City. They won a city championship. And then to come in and win a state championship, you, who could ask for anything more for when it comes to these kids? The first time you guys went city in uh, state time? Yeah, yeah, so this is my first time. Um, and this is the best record I had overall to be 26 and 2. So, of course, my son, he, he has all the bragging rights now. So he's talking, he's a back to back state champion. And you know, just for them to win the city championship, I'm just happy for the season. It's a remarkable season that these guys had. And like I said, to go 26 and two and play the tough schedule that we played, my hat goes off on for them to only lose two games and play as hard as they played. Talk a little bit about just the little things that you guys did in the fourth quarter. There was a charge, there was a, a, a big steal, just that little heads up stuff that you guys do. To and and pretty much that, that's how it, how it's been all year. Last year, um, DJ, this was, this was his first year playing varsity and Chase as well. So last year, we went through the we went through the wrong pain. This year, we was more battle tested. So they they, they want to do all, they doing all the little things, the diving on the floor, the block shots. You got to do all the little things to win. And, you know, we, we was able to do that today, and I'm just happy for them. Talk about Cambridge. I mean, you guys, they would not go away today. <laughs> they wouldn't. And, and um, my, my hat goes off to the coaching staff and the kids. And I told all of them um, when we were shaking hands that they played well. And I told the coach, because I know this was his first year down here, but, and he's only a second year coach, but they did a remarkable job. They played hard. They, they, wouldn't, they, they wouldn't quit. Even when we went up a couple of points, they came down and hit a couple of big shots. So my hat definitely goes off to Cambridge because they really played a really good game. I'll take one more question. Just overall, Donnell, four titles now in Edmondson. On the level, how good is this one out of four? Uh, I didn't even realize until um, the last couple, of, last couple of days that since like um, 2012, we've been there like seven times. So um, we won four, we lost two, and then one because of COVID. Um, like I said, this one back to back, um, to send my seniors out um, is, it, it, Heart, heart, heartfelt because I'm just so happy for Josiah, um, Kyrie, um, just happy for the team. So, you know, that's why this one is going to be real special to me. All right, thank you all. Thank you. Can we get a picture you got?
This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?